I'd say you were about 11 jumps away from having to pay it on this. Because <laughs> the uh, dry edge was like, oh, I've already climbed it. I was like, I don't see a kill. <laughs> well, you usually you but, don't see. <laughs> you don't see a saying it too. What are you in, Marvel? Oh, mate, I've just jumped in! It is quite a smug feeling killing someone before your wingmate even gets to drop in. Uh, it was Dryer Ash trying to drop in on the instance, and I had already killed the guy. Um, and this is me in a wing fight on Xbox. Yeah, a wing fight with actual people involved. Uh, I get interdicted as a 2v1 and then uh, Panda joins and then they have a third guy joins as 3v2 uh, we stick in there as long as we can we do stick in there as long as we can and have a whale of a time um, I'm in my anaconda uh, because this is my hunting ship this is my ship that I have for going around the bubble looking for people to kill in, when it comes to like bounties and it's got my wake scanner on it it's the the ship is it's not a good ship it's not um, the basis of it is a very good build, but I messed it up with some of the changes I made and some of the modifications I wanted. I wanted a beam laser. I wanted a big fuel skip. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted. And by the time I'd finished with the stuff I wanted, I kind of turned a good build into a, yeah, it's okay. But it does me proud in this instance, and this is what it was actually meant to do. It's meant to be the ship I take when we're hunting for people. Like, um, we have a certain... Uh, person we're after or usually it's like the bounties on Jabba's Palace or the bounties on Prophet Pro Prometheus's um, Discord. You know, if we're hunting one of them, I'll grab this ship and I'll assist. It's very much a wing support ship. It's, you know, I bring the wake scanner. I'm there to assist from long range and help out. And it's got the pacifier frags which up the DPS nicely. Um, they are fun to use. I really enjoy using them. And it's can be reasonably effective i've got a lot of kills in it but it's not my best ship by any stretch of the imagination i'm not good in a big i'm very um sloppy in the piloting i'm not good with flight assist off even though it's a big so it's a lot slower and should be easier to control um this fight was quite interesting there was a lot of npc shooting me by the end i didn't really take notice of that but yeah, i can see looking back uh npcs you know dropping and starting shooting me Luckily for me, my wingman was in here helping me out, and that was Attack Panda. So I'm going to cut to a little bit of his footage now. Um, I told him there was denim for, in it for him. So basically, this is how it happened. I was down here looking to kill Ravioli because Ravioli had a bounty on him. Unfortunately, Dryer Ash had already claimed the bounty by the time I got down here. I ended up winging with Dryer Ash. He then um, gets attacked by a Ravioli who's after revenge, or is Ravioli's trying to interdict him in Super Cruise. I instead interdict him and kill him. That's that opening clip. And then that was it. We were planning to head off for the evening. So Panda went back to his carrier and set his jump. I was heading back to mine. When I get jumped in Super Cruise by two people, which is a commander called Libor, who everyone seems to call Uwu because of his previous game attack, and Ravioli. So I start fighting them, Panda jumps in, you know, um, gets a, we get a kill. Uh, 
we then target the Uwu Libo guy. There is a Mamba in here as well, ROTV Mambas. There's two ROTV in this instance. Um, and like I said, we were only here for the, the bounty that wasn't on anymore, but once you attack us, that's it. It's, it's game on, you know. So, uh, now, Uwu or Libo, whatever you want to call him, said he you know he, he was he didn't want to be in his fans in this fight and to be honest it's a bad choice to be in because both me and Panda had scramble spectrum which is an absolute nightmare for whole tanks um i've got a turreted scramble spectrum on here because i'm horrible and panda's got a horrible uh, turreted well panda's build is just horrible for hull tanks it's the it is the build that like drove me out of my hull tank cobra back in the day um if people remember that far back i used to run uh, I still do a shieldless PvP uh, Cobra with two missile racks and beam lasers. I love that thing, but those Mambas are the death of it. Uh, scramble Spectrum and Missive, two two missile racks and a huge pulse. You know, three pulse lasers, two missile racks. It's just a nightmare for hull tanks because those missiles just eat you alive. Um, as for my build, my builds yeah, fully full on annoying as hell. Uh, to deal with it was um, you know apart from the addition of the beam laser the rest of the weaponry is pretty much as it should be um, I think you know the beam laser should just be another multi cannon I'll be honest but you know it's me I love beam lasers I can't help it I'm always gonna put a beam laser on it and in fact this uh, is the exact sort of fight that I got this anaconda for hunt down targets try and kill them you know, if they run away, jump after them with the weight scanner and just try and pick up kills. That's what it's for and that's what it's good at. Um, and like I said, I'm not the best when it comes to piloting big ships by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, everyone knows I'm not the best at this game. I'm not the best combat pilot out there. But, you know, I have fun. I have my moments and I do enjoy myself uh, just chatting with Panda, chatting with Jarosh, just having fun getting involved in combat. I much prefer combat against people who aren't super sweaty and using the most meta builds. Um, and I like to use a variety of ships. And um, yeah, I don't like to use the meta type builds. Uh, I tend to go for more silly builds and stupid stuff. Uh, I'm not very good, so I tend to go for a lot of gimbal. But I did pretty much leave this member alone for a lot of this fight because we kept retargeting the weakest thing. That was in the um, instance because you know that's what you can do when you want to get kills and if people are going to ghost back in that's going to happen because when they ghost back in you're going to go straight for them again um, partly because it's like well you're ghosting back in for one because it's impossible for us to win the instance with people ghosting back in um, you know there's always a fresh supply I I still dislike that because it just means it means the instance can just go on like for ages and if one side starts doing it and the other side starts doing it and if you get like six or eight people in a massive fight and they're like they're all doing it it's, it becomes an absolute nightmare and just the logistics of whose carry is closest to the fight uh, generally is going to win um, I've always disliked that I cannot believe how many NPCs are shooting at me at this point um, I think this was a good field test of the Anaconda though this is probably the toughest fight I've brought into from the point of view of how many ships are shooting at me how many NPCs are shooting at me what's the situation um, because it's like I say one of the problems with the way I did the ship or how I changed it was I made it so it can't really do the 4 0 too well um, which is a bit of a problem because when a condo you want to tank up as many pips as possible because the shields aren't that much stronger than some of my you know my Mambas shields really they're not you know they're, good, they're really good but considering the anaconda is a large ship it is not like cutter level of shields here but um i much prefer using the anaconda as a cutter because it does still feel like you're, you're taking a risk in the anaconda uh it's weaker the power plant can get sniped from the front which is a bit of a nightmare to be honest a bit of a design flaw um but it does put in work and you can make a real good glass cannon out of it. So, yeah, not the sturdiest of builds. But like I said, the underlying engineering beneath is pucker. And Panda's ship is super tough. And that 
credit for that. The base models that we use in the Dark Marauders, a lot of the time, um, goes to a couple of commanders. Uh, basically, it goes to um, Scrub Killer and Staro, you know, are the two that basically designed a lot of the ships. Uh, Scrub Killer is no longer with us, but a lot of us are using ships that he designed and he helped build. Some of my happiest memories in game are those conversations with Scrub Killer when I took one of his designs and messed it up with stupid weaponry or silly changes, and then him trying to make it function even though I'd messed it up. Uh, they were fun, entertaining conversations, and this was one of those conversations because I took his wonderful Fragaconda build and then put a bloody great beam laser on it. That means I'm forever pip managing or changing pips or putting pips to weapons. Um, and his utter disgust at the fact that I refused to take it off. Uh, but in a wing fight, and it has proven in the past to be true, in a wing fight, if my beam laser is shooting ahead of a big ship, I'll vanish off the radar and they won't end up focusing me. It worked really well once in an instance against FaZe and loads of people. I got loads of kills in this thing just from gimbal scrub multi cannon kills because, you know, I just kept the heat down and I just seemed to get ignored, which was great. Um, I did give it my all, left it to the last moment to jump out. We got three kills in the instance, the one kill beforehand, so four kills over these two incidences. I jumped out on 2% on low wake. They did interdict me again, and immediately my shields went and my canopy went, and I had to high wake out of there. The most hilarious part of the evening, though, is Panda forgot to cancel the jump when he jumped off his carrier to come back into the fight, so ended up sat where his carrier used to be, wondering what he was going to do. Um, and that just put a smile on my face. Uh, three kills in the fight, me and Panda get out alive, and uh, yeah, at one point I had three people and six police shooting me, and uh, thanks to Scrub Killer, this anaconda survived that and got out. So I'd like to say that's all, thank you very much for watching, um, I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>